Consistently crafted cars roll off the assembly line in a smooth flow. They are alive with the spirit of providing people with quality products through conscientious manufacturing and continuing research and development. This is the Toyota production system, where manufacturers eliminate waste to provide customers with well-made products in a timely manner. At the heart of the Toyota production system are the concepts of intelligent automation and just-in-time manufacturing. Let's explore the history of that system, which has transformed manufacturing around the world. The concept of intelligent automation, called Jidoka, originated in looms invented by Sakichi Toyoda, the founder of the Toyota Group. Weaving traditionally had been a very manual kind of work. The weaver fed the horizontal yarn back and forth between the vertical yarns. Sakichi had watched his mother working at a manual loom and thought of ways to make weaving easier. invented an original wooden hand loom in 1890. His loom was easy to use and nearly 50% more efficient than previous looms. The operator could move the yarn guide back and forth with one hand and feed in the horizontal yarn simultaneously. Sakichi then went to work on power looms. In 1896, he created Japan's first power loom and he continued making one improvement after another. In 1924, Sakichi and his son Kiichiro achieved a historic breakthrough. They created the world's first high-speed loom that fed in new weft, the horizontal yarn, reliably without interrupting work. Let's take a look at a feature of their breakthrough non-stop loom, the Model G. Traditional looms wasted material on fabric like this when one of the vertical warp yarns snapped, as often happened. To prevent that waste, Sakichi and Kichiro arranged thin metal floaters over the vertical yarns. A floater would slip down and stop the loom if its yarn snapped. These automatic stop innovations for preventing waste were absolutely remarkable. Sakichi had created sophisticated sensors, and he had done that without the benefit of the electrical and optical technology we now take for granted. His innovations eliminated the need for an operator to watch over each loom continuously. One operator could oversee more than 30 looms. The Model G captured a great deal of attention in Europe and the United States. So Sakichi's advances resulted in machines that would stop automatically if problems occurred, that would not produce defective work, and did not oblige people to serve as monitors. The middle character in the Japanese word for automation, jidoka, is do. For movement, but Sakichi replaced that character with one that means value-added work. Note the additional element on the left side, which represents people. Sakichi's jidoka put the human element into automation. The other core concept in the Toyota production system is just-in-time manufacturing. This concept originated in the ideas of Sakichi's son Kiichiro who led Toyota into automobile manufacturing. Along with working with his father on the Model G loom, Kiichiro helped put in place a mass production system. He established Toyota Automatic Loom Works in 1926 and introduced American assembly line methods to produce the Model G loom. Kiichiro traveled to Europe and North America in 1929 to find licensees for his company's automatic loom technology. He was amazed at all the vehicles and roads in the United States, 
and he resolved to begin developing automobiles. People tried to dissuade Kiichiro. They said that Japan didn't have either the technology or the economic foundation for a viable car industry. But he ignored their doubts and set up a shop in a loom factory to develop small engines. He undertook the risk of investing in expensive precision equipment. In 1935, his team created a passenger car prototype, the Toyota Model A1. In the following year, the first Toyota passenger car went into production as the Toyota Model AA. Kichiro incorporated his automobile operations in 1937 and began work on a vehicle plant. He refined American mass production methods for his plant and developed the beginnings of just-in-time manufacturing. The idea was to eliminate waste by making only what was needed, only when it was needed, and only in the amount needed. Making quality cars of satisfactory performance required an all-out effort. And Kichiro was moving to refine just-in-time manufacturing further, but the outbreak of World War II in 1941 interrupted his efforts. <laughs>